It was July 2020, Bitcoin trading around $9,500. And we talked about this macro bullish pattern with a breakout target of $24,000. And Bitcoin now is on its way as we've recently broken through the bull market doors. Bitcoin is more bullish than ever on the macro charts going into 2021. I am more bullish than ever. But what is the benefit? Why do we sometimes talk about how unconvincing Bitcoin is from a bullish perspective on the short term charts? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that subscribe and like on the way in. Let's jump into this Bitcoin vid video. This is extremely important. I'm going to break some things down for you, everybody. We're going to dig into bullish continuation for Bitcoin right now. We're going to check out what Bitcoin's doing. And I want to tell a little story here. This is Bitcoin on the daily chart. I want to talk about what's happening right here. So we're going to dig into that. But I want to start here with this clip from July 24th, 2020. Check this out. You can see this would be the, the story playing out for Bitcoin if Bitcoin breaks through this inverse head and shoulders, makes its way up to its $24,000 target at that time, if it happened. Okay, everybody, that was around $9,500 Bitcoin in July. Now, I didn't predict anything. We were tracking a pattern. The pattern played out. We broke the neckline of the inverse head and shoulders. This is what it looks like on the chart. You can even see in the video uh, you can just see, you know, I, I didn't call the exact time that was saying in August, right? I'm not calling anything, but you can see the breakout right around the end of July, right? So even from a time perspective, speculatively, it just worked out really well, which is cool. What's really convincing on the macro charts is how Bitcoin broke out, came back down, tested the neckline for support, and kept going. So I want to say this to, to all of you out there. I am so bullish on Bitcoin. And I think Bitcoin is just on its way to the $24,000 target. This is a macro breakout. This is a year long pattern. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get there as it has, right? This is a weekly chart. Bitcoin, in my opinion, is on its way to the $24,000 target along the way. There's volatility. Look at this first piece of volatility. Here's a second piece of volatility a couple of weeks ago. This past week, some volatility, right? Along the way, there are dips. And I, I want to just show you this. I tweeted this yesterday. I said, Bitcoin bulls aren't convincing me of anything until Bitcoin breaks through this daily Fibonacci resistance up to $19,450. Now, at the time I tweeted that yesterday, Bitcoin was 18900 I don't know if you can see it on the charts, but that's where Bitcoin was, $18,900. And I get some comments. It's crazy when Bitcoin makes a little bit of a move and going back to this daily chart, you know, Bitcoin has made a move the last couple of days. People like these just the people that only want to see the bullishness at all times, they lack this sense of like humility, right? They get all their chests get very puffed up and, you know, they think they're just you think they think Bitcoin's just going to just take off right? And never come back down. And I get comments, Dan, you were talking about, you know, a $17,000 target, you know, because we were tracking this symmetrical triangle right here with a $17,000 target. Um, not to mention Bitcoin did break through the bottom. We didn't hit the target exactly, but you can't hate on the technicals just because it, Bitcoin doesn't follow it to a T, right? But I really want to talk about this and I'm going to do this is a quick illustration for you. This is how my mind works. Do you know, have you ever, if you have a dog or have been around a dog, when you have the food ready for the dog and the dog is trained and they're patiently sitting there waiting, staring at the food, waiting for it to be put down on the floor for them to eat, the patience in the, in the eyes of that dog, the self-control, even though they're just like itching to go crazy, right? That self-control in the eyes of that dog. This is my approach to Bitcoin, which is this on the macro charts. Uh, we like, I like to think of ourselves as the dog waiting for the food to come down. If we're long-term bullish on Bitcoin, what is our action? What is our action point? What is our action plan? It's pretty much accumulation, right? And that's all it's been. It's the story of accumulation over the years. What's the best way to accumulate? It's waiting for the dips, right? It's waiting for these. It's just talking about the dips all the time, waiting for the bear market low, waiting for these big dips, waiting for Bitcoin to come out of overbought into oversold and buying that dip. It's, it's like the dog waiting for that food to just be put on that floor.
and you do it with self-control, you do it with patience, you have to do it with humility. And when the bulls take off, when the bulls defy all the odds, when the bulls go crazy and they just start like even defying the charts sometimes, you, you take that win, you enjoy the ride, you do it with a smile on your face, and you do it with humility. So that's my approach to Bitcoin. And if you don't like that, if you don't like me to talk about dips a lot, which I do, I talk about the dips a lot, because guess what, everybody? I don't know if you've, I don't know how long you've been around, but the dips happen like all the time, right? If your eyes are only glued on the upside all the time, you're missing, if you just zoom out on the daily chart, you're missing like so much, so much opportunity for accumulation. And you're, you're just, it seems like you're here for the wrong reason. So, you know, I had somebody say they unsubscribe because we didn't hit that $17,000 target exactly. Fine, unsubscribe. I'm gonna continue to sit here and be ready for dips. Now, what I wanna talk about is on this chart, this daily chart. So if we're, if we're zoomed in just a little bit, I wanna talk about the fact that right now, Bitcoin, it's very simple. You know, Bitcoin has put in a swing high, the, you know, what was this, the end of November, almost breaking all time high with some strength, but not really, because we got rejected. And right now we haven't done anything crazy. Like this is why I'm on the short term, not convinced. And I say that with the thought of Bitcoin very well could be on its way to $24,000 target. So we have our swing high that we had, to our swing low, and this is what I tweeted, and this is the Fibonacci resistance, right? This is it. And, you know, going back to Twitter, actually, if you go over here and I go to my profile real quick, I retweeted somebody because they basically said, uh, we know you're convinced already and with like a laughing face because Bitcoin has moved up since I tweeted that yesterday. And again, everybody, why can't we just utilize some patience in watching these charts? I'm not convinced. Bitcoin very much saw resistance right here at the 786. And I'm watching Bitcoin, just waiting, right? I could be this dog waiting for that food to come down, waiting to buy the dip, which you know is around 17,000 for my first buy. And then if Bitcoin on the macro charts decides to come down, which is very possible, 13,000 to $15,000 area, right? Allowing the 20 week moving average to catch up on these macro charts, very consistent with what Bitcoin has done. If it happens, I'll buy Bitcoin. I'll accumulate heavily. If it doesn't, I, I will be very happy. I want Bitcoin to keep going, everybody. I want Bitcoin to take off. Um, but I'm trying to really just throw all of these perspectives, right? The upside, the downside, and the downside is important because that's when I personally take action. And it's why I talk about it. And it's, I think what's made me successful personally just in my approach to accumulation. It's worked out really well, just waiting for the downside. It doesn't mean I'm bearish. And I hope that a lot of you, and I think most of you do, uh, are on, are, you're on that same page with me, right? Just kind of looking at these charts objectively, being patient, waiting for those opportunities. And, and technically, right now, Bitcoin, even in regards to the symmetrical triangle, right? This lower trend line here, which we still use, you know this, extending right now almost perfect confluence with that 786 line look at this look at this trend line all the way to that symmetrical triangle and look at the 786 resistance on the fibonacci and you can just see right now bitcoin just testing that on this daily on the six hour chart this is a six hour chart so what is bitcoin going to do here i will become more convinced if bitcoin starts breaking through this fibonacci resistance putting in six hour closes and then we're actually breaking these candles all the way back here, which were the swing highs uh, at the end of November. Then I will start being more convinced that the $24,000 target is coming sooner than later. And the $24,000 target sitting up around here. $24,000 target can be in play on these macro charts, even if Bitcoin does this. And I wanna chart the Fibonacci, this long-term, this is it. This is the macro bull market doors. Uh, the long-term, talked about this so much on this channel, the bull market doors are down here. We're in the bull market, right? And that doesn't mean we won't get dips. And if Bitcoin were to come down into that $13,000, $15,000 area I discussed, $24,000 is still on my radar as a target, right? So it takes some time. It takes higher highs and higher lows on the macro to hit a macro target. So this would be a swing high. We'd get a higher low. 
bounce off this area, continue to a target. Patience, this could go into February, right? This could happen, $24,000 target could happen now. And lastly, I wanna say this, I've gotten some really good comments basically talking about the one difference happening right now, and you, it is starting to look different. Look at this weekly candle, the, the upward pressure uh, of the bulls, even though it's a red candle, starting to be convincing that there is a little bit of a divergence away from what it did last cycle, right? And what I mean by that is this, at the very same time last time, we talked about this on this YouTube channel, when Bitcoin did hit this and broke those bull market doors, Bitcoin came down very strong with a dip in the following two weeks. Bitcoin is just fighting right now and it hasn't happened. Uh, and it's really cool to see that, right? We might not get a dip, everybody, at the end of the day, as much as I talk about it, and that is completely cool. But if we get the dip and you're out there and I'm here and we're, we were ready for it and we could comfortably uh, be prepared to, to buy that dip, at least myself, this isn't financial advice, I will be happy. I'll be grateful. And that has happened time and time again as we do this technical analysis. I'll say this, and this is in regards to the comments I've been getting. People talking about the difference between now and back then it's, it is like retail was kind of pushing and, and, and retail was driving what was happening back here, right? And right now we have a little bit of a different situation where institutional buyers plus retail is kind of driving what's happening. And maybe the dips won't be as strong. I don't know. Time's going to tell uh, very soon in the next week or two uh, if this happens or not. But maybe price and the bulls just have way more strength this time around because there's way more there's there's just much more buying power. It could totally be the case. Um, so I wanted to throw that out there. You know, just the the macro approach to Bitcoin, what's going on in my mind in anticipating dips, but also throw out there the fact that you know Bitcoin could be doing something it really hasn't done much uh, in the past, in particular to the Bitcoin cycles and entering these bull market doors. Uh, and it can keep going, and I really hope it does. But those are my thoughts on today's Bitcoin video. Let's keep tracking this. This is exciting. Bitcoin on the short term, again, I'm not, I'm not convinced. This is what I'm watching. Can Bitcoin break above that 19,450? We already hit exact resistance at that area. You can see it on the charts. What's going to happen in the coming hours? This is what I'm watching. Uh, and again, if Bitcoin can just make a break for it, break out. That could be very telling, but don't be surprised if all up in here, Bitcoin comes back down to this other Fibonacci retracement, which is the swing, uh, the swing low back here in November to the swing high that we had at end of November, and we come back down finally to hit this Fibonacci re re resist. Re I'm sorry, support, and we get continued consolidation. Right, so bouncing around all up in here, we see this time and time again. Long story short, you can tell I'm, I'm, I'm running out of steam here. I'm running out of breath. Patience. That's, that's really it. That's the name of the game, everybody. And I just wanted to really throw that out there. Have some patience. Have some humility out there. Take it easy. Be cool. Hit that subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit that like button. I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you have an awesome Sunday, and God bless.